Moon conquered. Now sun in sight. Aditya set to soar. India is rising star. Sky is not the limit. World watches in awe. Join us to celebrate Saturday, 2nd of September. Bharat Suryastra. तो हमने देखा है कि चंद्रयान थ्री किस तरह से एक सक्सेसफुल मिशन रहा है और भारत को वो इलीट ग्रुप में वहां पर एक तरीके से नाम रोशन हो चुका है तो जहां तक हम चांद की बात करें उसे तो कॉन्कर कर चुके हैं लेकिन अब हमने सूर्य की तरफ अब रुक कर लिया क्योंकि हम देख पा रहे हैं जो लेटेस्ट अपडेट इसरो की तरफ से शेयर करे जा रहे हैं जो रिहर्सल्स है वो कंप्लीट हो चुके हैं जहां तक अगर हम लॉन्च की बात करें आदित्य एलवान की जो पहला मिशन होने वाला है जहां तक अब सूरज के बारे में उसे पढ़ा जाएगा उसके बारे में और जाना जाएगा यही तक नहीं आदित्य एल वन विल कैरी सेवन पेलोड्स टू ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ आउटर सन फॉर अ डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द बॉल ऑफ फायर द प्राइमरी पेलोड ऑन बोर्ड द स्पेस क्राफ्ट इज वीईसीएल विच वॉज डिजाइंड बिल्ड एंड स्टडीड बाय द टीम एट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स इन बेंगलुरु now times now has also spoken ex exclusively to them to understand what the mission is all about and the role that the primary payload vlc will play listen in with me is the principal investigator who's of course been the brain behind this particular payload he and we should more importantly here understand that this particular payload was created in bengaluru at the indian institute of astrophysics joining me is mr p ramesh sir thank you so much for speaking to us quickly if you could tell us sir, when did this collaboration with isro and the indian institute of astrophysics really come about see before i start this interview i must admit that there have been principal investigators before me and yeah. presently i am the principal investigator and this is a team effort so the credit goes to the entire team who are behind this mission yeah. and coming to the specifics indian institute of astrophysics have got almost more than 100 years of experience in carrying out observations of the solar atmosphere particularly during the color coronal solar coronal eclipses and based on the data that was collected over several decades it was felt that one need to study the corona on a 24 by 7 basis outside of the eclipses also and the only place from which such observations are possible is not from the ground but from some specific vantage points in the space okay. and so you need to collaborate with the space agents to carry out these observations and uh, in mid uh, uh, 2012 2013 and all there was this announcement of opportunity from isro to carry out solar observations from the space using their space missions and iea submitted a proposal and they, they had designed this uh, vlc which is the visible emission line coronagraph which is meant for studying the solar corona as the name itself says and today we are in a stage where this coming saturday this whole uh, space mission is going to be launched so we have the vlc that you're talking about this is the payload that's going to be on board uh, you know uh, the spacecraft if you could take us through the importance of this uh, in relation to the earth because many would assume well we're studying the sun this seems too theoretical is this going to be of any sort of relevance to the people here on earth at this juncture take us through that details sir see whenever there is a solar quake which we call as a coronal mass ejection or the cme that is a coronal material is thrown out into the interplanetary space now when i say the coronal material is thrown out into the interplanetary space the mass of this expelled material can be as high as 10 power 15 grams okay and they can race towards the earth in particular or any other direction in the space so there is a situation when these eruptions taking place on the solar atmosphere and if they are directed towards the earth the life on the earth can be affected motives behind this mission is to study these things which can happen any time during a day yeah. so we need a 24 hours continuous observations of the sun now among the seven payloads that's on board the aditya l1 mission one is the vlc this is the model of the vlc that's right in front of me as uh, isro of course gets set to launch this into other space we are here with the scientists at the indian institute of astrophysics who've been instrumental in ensuring that uh, this uh, particular payload is on board and more importantly ensuring that the experiments that isro wants to conduct can be successfully done using uh, you know all the science behind this particular payload with me is the team that's uh, built this payload from scratch here at the indian institute of astrophysics i was basically a designer of this uh, uh, instrument mechanical systems especially and uh, this uh, 
We have uh, the, this VLC is a visible emission line solar coronagraph. So this is the full uh, uh, name for this instrument. Solar uh, light which is entering through this aperture which will get deployed in the outer space. So light enters through this thing and, uh, and uh, there is a lens which blocks the disk light and allows only the coronal light into the system. And the coronal light is imaged in an imaging channel and then uh, later it is uh, uh, splitted into three different uh, channels for spectroscopic analysis and other things. So at, any, at the entry point itself, if the alignment is not accurate or if the alignment gets disturbed during onload, uh, there is lift off or uh, orbiting thermal loads or anything like that, where the injection of the light at that point itself, uh, the le light leaks into the system, it falls on the detector, then the whole mission is lost, mm -hmm. nothing. We will get only blind spot. The, uh, it will kill the detector and whole mission is lost. The alignment and accuracy is so critical and important. Yes. If you could tell us what has your role been and how crucial has it been yeah, in this particular... Yeah, yeah, we are yeah, very so. happy and I am glad, glad to be part of this uh, wonderful team. And I am Kathir Ravan. So I am taking care of this, I am the lead for the contamination control process control and for the facility developments. Here actually this Aditya VLC has uh, posed uh, many challenges during the initial pages uh, uh, because it has a strict or stringent cleanness requirements. So we have to devise a methodology with a careful planning to take care of both particulate and molecular contamination so that we can keep within the budget. So here this particulate and molecular contamination which, which is depositing on the super polished primary mirror which Navbushan talked about. So any deposition, any layer of deposition on the primary mirror can completely mask the uh, coronal light which is our field of interest. Any scattering from the primary mirror can completely kill the our field of interest. That's why we have given a lot of uh, importance and a lot of methodology has been involved right from the design phase and the methodology has been devised to, to take care of the contamination at each and every steps okay, to meet the ambitious requirement of Aditya. So tell us your role uh, in, the, in this entire payload uh, construction process and also insertion into the satellite itself. Uh, thank you. My name is Amit Kumar. I'm uh, head of the Department of Electronics. So my role was given to build the detector system from the scratch. And it was quite challenging because when the detector was realized, hardware came in hand, Corona also was in front of us. So in that uh, time also, uh, in our lab, through the video conferencing and through the lot of people are working with the restricted environment, we could able to do the test and calibration of the detector system. And my, my, my job also did not stop there. I, it was beyond that that I had to do the mission operations, how it has to operate on board. And the data pipeline, data reduction also, that was my part of the system. That is because things are growing that way. Yeah. The detector system is capable of giving actually two terabits per day. But the things the on board does not have that much of memory capacity like we have computer on ground. It has to be uh, do without uh, compromising the science goals. So then we made this intelligent system. With that, the memory requirement has come down to 132 gigabits per day. Moon Conquer. Now sun in sight. Aditya set to soar. India is rising star. Sky is not the limit. World watches in awe. Join us to celebrate Saturday, 2nd of September. Bharat